So let us come back to the problem of a particle going from A to C uh, via the holes in B. Uh, the probability for the particle to uh, end up in some position X uh, in C will be given uh, by the modulus squared of the amplitude of probability to go from A to C. And this amplitude of probability itself is the sum of uh, the amplitude of probability uh, to go via one hole and via the other. If we substitute into the expression for the probability in quantum physics, we get... Remember that we defined uh, the amplitude of probability phi as a complex number. But what really matters is that the resulting probability p uh, has to be a positive uh, real number. And indeed this is what we get because we take the modulus squared of this expression. We now need to show that uh, this uh, probability differs from the one we had in the classical case. Um, so we, for that we will first uh, differentiate uh, the notation for the two holes. Uh, one uh, hole is named B1 and the other one is B2. Which we can rearrange a little bit. We recognize the classical probability in the first line. But in addition, we see in the second and third line that um, we have uh, new terms, and these terms are of uh, purely of quantum origin. In particular, you can notice that they are product of amplitude of probabilities uh, for um, uh, B1 and B2. This means that this accounts for um, the fact that the ball is going by uh, both B1 and B2 at the same time.